beautiful people. This is Kimberly K, Kim Tastic Creations, K with two Y's, K A Y Y. Today, you guys, guess what? I woke up today feeling good, in a great mood, feeling loved, feeling blessed, feeling happy, energetic. And I am coming on here today, you guys, to show you what I'm going to make for dinner. Today, I'm making a beef soup, okay? Now, that's my um steak and what i'm going to do is i'm going to boil this steak and i'm going to boil it whole once it's done i'm going to cut it up in small pieces but also i'm going to add shrimp to this okay because it's so good i'm going to add shrimp to this i'm going to use this um noodle soup mixture right here okay but i'm also going to add this onion and mushroom now i would have used some beef chicken broth but since i don't have any this will um make up for that because once you put this in water it makes a good beefy um broth along with this right here okay with the um noodle soup um broth it makes a good um a good broth in the soup i'm gonna use some parsley i'm gonna use some veggie grill some chicago style seasoning some seasoned salt and some garlic i am going to add some potatoes in there but that's not going to be into a little after the um, soup is basically almost done because if you add the potatoes now it'll just be soggy i'm going to cut up a um, fresh onion i'm also going to add some um, mixed vegetables in there i would have used frozen but i don't have any so can work just fine it's not going to hurt you they're okay so that is what i'm going to make today so you anything about the soup how long i cook it anything else just go ahead and um comment below and i will definitely definitely answer any questions anyone have if i am subscribed to your channel i would like you to subscribe back to my channel to watch some of the things i do on my channel i'm a new youtuber building my um page but i'll be back okay you guys the steak is seasoned, okay? You're going to have to add the water and the lifting soup mixture um, to this. As far as the potatoes and the um, shrimp, that's going to come in at the very end because we all know shrimp, oh my God, that gets um, done very, very fast. And then those potatoes, you don't want them to be soggy. Um, I got to cut up the onion and add the onion to this as well. This right here is just that um, lifting um, soup mix. And I'm just going to add that. And then I'm going to add water and the onions to this. I'm going to put this on the stove. And this is going to cook for like an hour. I'm going to boil this steak for like an hour. Okay. And then I'll be back. <laughs> I crack myself up, you guys. I really do. But seriously, I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So the onions and all the seasoning there. Oh, my God. This, this looks flavorful. Okay. It's going to be good. So now you just add the water. You can see. And you only need enough water to cover everything. You don't have to fill this um pot to the top. I'm gonna get a little bit more water. Oh, it smells good, you guys, and it's not even cooking, so that goes to show and tell you how this is going to taste, okay. Okay, you guys, it's about to go on the stove. And remember, this water based, and then once I add that um, other um, soup packet, but we're not going to add that right now. This is just getting the um, steak um, done to cut up in pieces so you can have the beef for your um, soup. But once that other um, chicken noodle packet's coming here, that's going to be your soup right there. So you will see it's going to be good. It's going to be great. I hope you try this recipe. It's really good. It's simple. It's fast. It's quick. And you will have a nice, good pot of soup. So especially on those cold, cold days or if you're sick with the cold or flu or something, this is really a great um, recipe to have. Because like I said, people take hours and hours just to make stuff that can be so simple. This is a very simple recipe. I, I'm sorry. You hear the water running in my background, you guys. Sorry for that. But this is a simple, simple um, recipe. It don't have to take you hours and hours to make stuff like home um stuff that's homemade is what I'm trying to um say. So I'll be back, you guys. So 
So you guys, the steak been boiling for a good while. As you can see how much of the water has cooked down in it. So I'm gonna let it finish. And it smells so good in here, you guys. I mean, super, super, super good. Okay, you guys, that's the steak. Super, super tender. It's coming off of the bone. I'm going to get this cut up, you guys. I cut up my red skin potatoes. At first, I had just the regular potatoes. Then I got the red skin potatoes. I cut those up, and those are inside the water. So now the potatoes is cooking in the same water and seasonings and everything that the steak cooked in. I have to um, get the shrimp um, washed off. Um, once these potatoes get um, softened up, I'm going to add the um, shrimp and the... Um, vegetables and then i'm going to add the noodles the noodles is last because i don't want soggy um noodles so that's going to go in last and it's going to be great i'll be back you guys so welcome back you guys so this has been an episode of cooking with kimberly k just like your mom's um soul food okay and if you follow me on instagram then you recognize those names because i put all my cooking on um my instagram page but i decided to bring it to my youtube channel so check it you guys this is the soup okay you want soup to be soup when you make soup it should not be like pasta it should be soup you need a soup base this is homemade soup it has the steak that i cut up in there for the beef it has shrimp, it has vegetables, potatoes, just all um, kinds of stuff in it. Oh my goodness, you guys, you know I'm about to go ahead and fix me a bowl. Okay, you guys, I just fixed myself a bowl. Look at that, you guys, just look at that. Oh my goodness. So this is how you make homemade soup. Remember, you don't want it to be dried out. You're not making pasta and meat. You're making soup. So you definitely see you need a soup based but like i said i woke up today feeling good in a great mood happy energetic blessed loved i feel wonderful um always stay positive don't ever let anyone bring negative energy your way if they try to do that then remove them out your zone okay flown them out baby remove them out this has been an episode of cooking with kimberly k kim tastic creations k with two y's k-a-y-y please subscribe like and comment and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give this recipe a try. It's very good. It's good for your soul. I'm trying to tell you some good homemade hot soup. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, blessed, awesome day. Stay positive. Focus on the good. Like I said, remove negative people, negative vibes, negative energy. Move it out your soul, baby. Keep your soul free. A good, healthy, drama-free, clean soul. Take care.